have to see a crowd of people yelling this with Corey freaking Taylor. That must be a sight. The sight I need to see. Hello there, maggots. Happy Maggot Monday. It's Lauren here. I don't know if you're seeing this on a Monday, but for me, it is Maggot Monday. I just posted the negative one. Now it's time for Iowa. The only song that I know from Iowa is Disaster Peace. And that was an experience that was very early on in my journey. Had I heard that song now, I don't know if I would have had the same feeling about it. Because now, it's definitely not one of my favorite Slipknot songs. It's not in the top 10, but I can listen to it without being like, oh, <laughs> which is kind of like my first listen. That was a rough one. I'll be honest. That was a rough one. I felt like it was time to come back to Iowa because I've grown, I think, in this journey. I hope. I hope that's a fair statement. Does that mean I'm going to absolutely love this song? I don't know. Because I still am a little afraid of this album. But I'm, I'm ready to see what this song is all about. This one won the poll. Big time won the poll. Here's what happened with that. Now here's the thing. Skin Ticket was everywhere. You have to hear Skin Ticket. And now all of a sudden it's, you know, not even on your radar. I don't know. I don't understand that, but I just let the poll dictate what I do. I'm at the mercy of the poll. The maggots have spoken. All right, I'm going to assume this picture is from the Iowa era, but I might be wrong again because he had dreadlocks in more than one album. So we're going to go with this though, because oh God. what is Joey doing? And then Pinhead on the side, just like, uh, I don't know about these guys. The Undertaker looking scary as usual. <laughs> Clown guy, not a fan of that mask. That's very frightening. I think he's trying to compete with Undertaker for who's the scariest. But what is Joey doing? Paul is always in the back, just like, I, you know, just looking very normal. I don't know. And Sid, these guys are just too much. But I see the fist. Pinhead has the fist going on. That's his signature look, the fist. So let's get into this. I'm not ready for this, but we're gonna do it. I just wanted to annoy you with that one. Did I? Did I annoy you? Probably. I'm gonna go with yes. I'm on board so far. I mean, really, it's not, it's not as scary as I thought it would be. I might regret saying that. But so far, I'm like, okay. I, I like all the Sid action. I like the headphone action. Corey's laying it down. I mean, the lyrics. Got it. <laughs> you know. We're kind of back to the angry Slipknot. I mean, Corey's always angry, I feel like, but this era of Slipknot, we're just angry at everyone. And we have this outlet to show it and we're gonna use it. You know, we have this platform where we can just, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think this song, I mean, again, title alone, this song is really just showing <laughs> how they feel about people. I've been there, I get it. I feel like a wound. I can't feel anything. I've been there too. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested in the lyrics mostly. I think I'm gonna do that thing where I start the song over, but for you guys, you're not gonna hear the whole thing over again. I'm gonna shorten it, but yeah, I wanna get into this thing again. So I will meet you back here where we are right now. So uh, I'll see you in a second. Hi, <laughs> I'm back. Everybody hates me now, I'm so fucking poor 
Something's happening. Okay. I like this a lot. I mean, honestly, I was I was scared. I was so scared of this because I, I really hate when I don't like a song because it just is such a downer video, you know? But in my honest way, I'm not going to lie and say I like it if I don't like it. But I, I like this. I mean, it's a top 10. I don't know because the top 10 is, is just getting really, really good. So I don't know what's going to happen. But I just keep thinking about what my life was like about five years ago. And I'm not going to get into all that with you. But just know that this song would have been the perfect outlet for me at that time. I had a handful of songs that I would just play on repeat. That was sort of my outlet for that time of my life. But this one, oh my God, this one would have been just on loop all day, every day. I mean, I was at that place where just, I hated everyone and everything. And this would have just been the perfect soundtrack to that frame of mind, you know? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I should have done this five years ago. But yeah, I'm gonna have to back this up. I mean, I really, I love the energy of it. It's just such a different, feel. I know I've gotten into this in other videos, but it's such a different sound than what they're doing now. I try to explain it in another video. I'm not going to go through all that again, but you know what I mean. I know that you know what I mean. It's not just Corey. I mean, it's, it's most obviously Corey because of his singing style, but I mean like all of it, everybody. I have to go back though. I don't know where to go back. I want to start it over again, but I'm not going to do that. I won't start it again, but just know that I want to. Yeah, this is a uh, I hate to say it's fun, but it's kind of fun. It's very relatable, sadly. <laughs> not all of it. Not all of it's relatable, but, you know, I, I see where what he's saying. I hear you, Corey. I get it. I really like I mean again it's such a different it's such a different kind of song I mean I, I feel like this era was just very straightforward in your face this is how I feel now it's kind of like it's not quite so just here it is am I making any sense I don't know I don't think I make any sense anymore but yeah I really like I really like these lyrics a lot it's just it's such an odd because there's you can feel the pain there, but yet the sound of it is just so like upbeat and I hate to say fun, but you know what I mean? It's a very energetic song, but it's a, it's such a healthy way to sort of deal with those kind of feelings is to put it through music, set it to music. And then for the listener, because this goes both ways, you know, I mean, for the artist, it's like, this is me representing my pain through a song. But for the listener, it's like, I hear you, I'm with you, you know, we're in this together kind of thing. It's just a win-win for everyone. I mean, way to make this such a positive. 
I mean, the title of this song, and I'm all about, oh, it's so positive. It's such a healthy thing. But you know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. All right, let me go back a little bit. Yeah, the the lyrics I um I I like. I'm I'm as surprised as you are. Let me just say that. To just be able to yell that and at a concert do they still play this one is this still part of their set list because I oh man I could only imagine I'm gonna have to do this as a live video I have a feeling let me know in the comments what is the best live video for this particular song because I would like to check that out too I have to see a crowd of people yelling this with Corey freaking Taylor that must be a sight the sight I need to see I want to know if there is anyone who has been to a Slipknot concert, if you had the pleasure of singing this song with the boys, I would like to know about that. Just tell me how that was. Was that as awesome as I would imagine it to be? What that does to you to be able to release that again in a healthy way? I'm all about this. I've like, you know, <laughs> check plus with this. That might be the best part right there. I have to hear it again. Of course, I have to hear that again. Okay, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I was not expecting to like it. And again, I'm going to guess that if I had heard this back when I had heard Disaster Peace, like early on in my journey, I don't think I would have liked this. But now that I've sort of heard bits and pieces from all over, I just have such appreciation for where they came from, where they started, to where they are now. And I I just really like this. I like what it's saying. I like the feeling of it. I like the emotional release. I like that people have a song like this that they can just completely rock out to. And, you know, I just have nothing bad to say about this, which I, again, am just very surprised. So uh, let me listen to this again. I'll be right back. I'm back and I'm feeling pumped up. <laughs> this song I really like. I mean, again, I, I really like this a lot. I mean, I, I'm into this. It's just so like, love it. Are you surprised? I mean, I, I'm surprised. I pictured because, you know, I had to talk about Pinhead because I'm obsessed with him apparently. I could just imagine since he doesn't talk, you know, like if they're doing an interview, like a group interview or something, I can just picture him just standing in the back and just like singing this to himself, like the chorus of this song. Just like, I hate everyone. Why do I have to do this stuff? Can we just play a song now? I sort of hinted at the cool Sid thing, but they did that several times where it sort of started low and like, you know, gradually builds up. That's a cool sound, you know, sort of building the tension or whatever. The other thing I noticed in here was the um, the Corey freaking Taylor thing. He sort of starts low, kind of like what Sid is doing and just sort of, you know, and I'm trying to remember, I know I've heard that before. It was maybe Scissors because uh, I don't listen to Scissors. Like, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I listened to Scissors. It might've been that one. 
But yeah, I'm guessing that's an early thing. I, I don't know if he... Does he still do that? That's sort of like, you know, just like a vocal... Whatever that is. So yeah, I survived this song. I can't believe it. I mean, this is one that I saw, you know, since I first started posting videos, this title has been floating around in the comment section. So I'm glad that I finally got to it. The others on this album, am I going to like those as much as this one? I have no idea. But I like this a lot more than I did Disaster Piece the first time I heard Disaster Piece. I mean, no question. Although Disaster Piece has grown on me just exponentially. I had no idea that was going to happen. <laughs> How many times do I say that? I have to find a new thing to say. I say that so many times. It's always true though. There, I'm just always surprised by everything that happens. Every time I turn the camera on, I'm surprised by something. Thank you so much for watching. Mega Maggots who are still here. Love you guys. I love all the maggots, but you know, the mega maggots. That's it for me today. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day and I will see you for the next one.